Hey, what's up, everybody? DJ LaFave here, and today we're going to talk virtual DJ databases, all right? We're going to talk you to you about how to back up your database, how to restore your database, and a couple of different options that are associated within Virtual DJ with the database function. Let's actually start, first and foremost, if you guys want to get really, really into it, this is the manual. The manual's right here. I'm going to link it in the description. You could go in here and search all about everything that Virtual DJ has to say officially. But nobody's got time for that. So I'm going to show you what I do, and then you guys can do whatever you want, whatever you want from here. I'm just going to give you the information. Here we go. So I'm in the pro skin right now, just to just let you know what layout we're working with. In the top right, there's the cog wheel. Click on the cog wheel, and then this opens up. We're going to go to options, and then all you got to do right here is type database. This is where you can make some of your configuration changes um, for the database. Now, if you use iTunes, good for you. This is where you can actually tell Virtual DJ where your iTunes music library file is located. I don't personally use it, but it's just in there and you can't get rid of it. Uh, you can import version seven databases. Apparently the XML was a little bit different, but it still gives you that option. You can ignore drives. So if you have additional drives on your computer that may have duplicate music, you can tell it right here, hey, don't look at drive G, okay? Don't look at drive G. No matter what you do, don't look at drive G. <laughs> uh, you can select right here, read only. So set, set, uh, set virtual DJ into read only mode. The database on the drives will not be modified. So will not write over your database. If, you, if you're already particular and you got things in, in the right order, that's the option for you. Uh, this is one that, that's really important right here. This one right here, automatic database backup period. If you put zero in here, it will not automatically back up your database. If you put any other number in there, that's the number of days. You can do it weekly. You can do it monthly. I do it daily. So whenever you essentially close Virtual DJ, it's going to create a database uh, backup for you. Now, you can also define a separate location for the database backup. So here, you, you can select where you want it to be. I'm going to show you right quick where the database is currently stored. If you go into where your, your virtual DJ is installed, essentially go to your, your C drive on Windows. You're going to go into App Data, which is located under Users. Go to Users right here. We're going to go to App, uh, go to, go to User you are, and then we're going to go to App Data right here. And then it is under local. And then we're going to go down all the way down until you find virtual DJ. So right here is where your backup is going to be. So you have a backup folder and you have a cache folder. The backup is where your database backup currently resides. If you want to keep it on like an external hard drive where your music may be, then anytime you plug that drive into another computer, it's going to look to that external drive. So kind of if you move around from computer, computer to computer, that's a good idea to keep it right there. All right, so those are the options for database. Now, how do you create a manual database backup? I'm glad you asked. We're gonna scroll on down here to the bottom left and there is this little radio button. Click on the radio button and you'll see database. So right now you can actually create a database backup. We're gonna click it and then it's gonna create a database backup. You wait about 10 seconds and then a Windows Explorer file opens up and it shows you where that database backup file is located so let's go and and come on uh, that's my 10 is that 10 11 12 there it is and it pops up and it goes exactly that location that i just showed you and it creates a database backup in this format the year the month the date if you're european i'm sure that looks really really wicked to you right <laughs> You guys do it differently over there. You definitely do it differently. Now, you can also restore a database, a previous database version, if you go back over here. And when we click on this button, we go to database, we click restore database backup. And then it's going to ask you, select the file. So you could select the file from any of your other databases. And then you could select what it is that you want Virtual DJ to restore for you so if you want it just the database you can click that but if you want to include your playlist your filters your history mappers everything here you can check them off and then click restore backup now this option depending on how many songs you have currently in your database can take a little bit of a while it can take a little bit of a while now how do you add something to the database well you basically go to the file itself right here the file you right click on it and then you go, well, it's already in the search DB. So we're going to remove from search DB. And now I'm going to right click and we're going to say add to search DB. So if a new file would not have add to search DB, then it's not there. So you have to add it. Now, if you go into extensions, this is, this is the, the one up tip for you. One up tip for you for the day right now. 
We're going to go to extensions. You want to go to other, and then we want to go to database filters, and then whatever language you, you have, you want to select that one. So my library, it's in English. I click install. What my library does, it actually has a pre-built function to show you all of the songs that are not in your database right now. It shows up in the bottom left right here called My Library. We're going to click the plus button. We click on database, and then we'll click on audio right now. And then you're going to say, which, which songs are missing for my DB? So these ones are, are files that have been scanned by my database but are not showing in here at all. Or we can go to not scan. These are the ones that are not inside of my database right now. So it looks like a lot of the a lot of the items that I had recorded here, I did not add to my search DB. So again, if I just, uh, oh, these look like file files. Right click, and then you're going to see here it says remove from search DB. It was just added when I clicked on the file. Very, very simple. So that's basically where and how you manage your database with inside of Virtual DJ. If you have any further questions, comments, uh, gripes or complaints, always, always leave them in the comments. Please leave them in the comments and feel free to join uh, the, the DJ LaFave After Party Discord server. The link again is in the description where you can ask specific questions, get one-on-one -on -one help. We can pass back and forth a lot of our screenshots. I'll even get on a video call with you and go through some stuff. So hope that was helpful. We kept this nice, smooth, easy, under seven minutes. That's it for now. I'll see you guys on my next live stream. DJ LaFave out.